Well, a lot of get fireworks right away, and it started with Jamar Curtis and the running and the passing game, and a quick score there by Curtis, a 10-yard run, made it 7-0, and then you see Conyers, he's going to get in for a one-yard run, a 14-0 lead. Lafayette down the field here, you see Persing, he's a freshman, in cut, gets to the end zone, 21-0, and that Lafayette again put another touchdown on the board, made it 28 before Bucknell entered the end zone. So they had 28 unanswered points. Here's another good throw to the outside. Jamar Curtis squeaks out the backside on a little screen. He scores right there on an eight yard pass from Dean DeNoble. Really a beautiful catch right here. He's a special player, Weatherly. I'm glad we don't have to go against him every week, but not a big kid, but can play. But this kid can too. Stewart, every week he makes a big play. That's a 63 yarder for Elijah Stewart, and he is a playmaker. Watch him bounce to the outside. Kente Edwards, the North Hunter and Flash, gets into the end zone, and guess who else got in the end zone? Ethan Weber, another freshman. Got to be a day they will never forget, and a day Lafayette put up some big time numbers, Gary. So exciting here at Lafayette to watch an offense execute, play well, and a defense that played again complimentary football throughout the game. Four rushing touchdowns in ball game, four receiving touchdowns in the ball game, and then big John Troxel, 100 career wins up on the board as he's there with his family. Congratulations, Coach, for sure. Princeton next week. Princeton has won 12 consecutive games against Lafayette. Can they break that streak as uh, the Leopards are playing really, really good football? We're going to chat with uh, Coach Troxel. Megan trying to get him onto the sidelines. And uh, our player of the game, Billy Schaefer. Uh, Billy just representing a defense that was outstanding. Collected six sacks. Billy had three and a half of those. Um, and as we mentioned, he's the long snapper. He does just about everything. Let's go down to Megan. Thanks, Gary. Coach, 56 points for your team today. You've talked to us at Lance about the improvement of the offensive line. Oh, yeah. How were they able to effectively create holes and protect your quarterback today? You know what? I mean, it's a, just a credit to them and the work they've put in since the beginning of June. I mean, uh, you know, we've said all along that we have to get better in that area, and, and it just goes to show. I mean, those kids have done a great job, and it's the reason why we're being successful. Another dominant defensive performance. How is that unit playing with so much confidence right now? Uh, you know what, man? It's, just, it's a great group of kids. I mean, you know, I mean, we have a lot of young kids out there still. So, I mean, we have a lot of work to do just to get them better. But even when you look at, you know, the five freshmen on a D line, and you know, today was a great day because we got to evaluate a lot of guys. You know, and get a lot of guys reps. You know, you look at uh, Devin Page on offense, Carson Persing, both freshmen. You know, so I'm just really proud that the kids are you're getting in the spotlight and they're performing well. One kid that you've seen plenty of highlight reels from is Billy Schaefer. We're going to talk to him in just a second, player of the game. What does he bring to this team? Uh, you know what? I mean, he's, he brings calmness. You know, I mean, uh, he makes plays all over the field. He has his whole career. You know, he's one of the best players in this league. And uh, we're glad he's on our team. We're glad he came back for an extra year. Coach, 100 career wins for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Billy, I'm going to bring you in. Another win for your team today, a, a great defensive performance for you and your unit. How was the defense really able to get this one going today? Uh, well, we knew we had to stop the run going, going off to start the game, stop the run, make them one-dimensional team, and then start getting after them. So the guys in the back end did a great job covering up, and we just got after quarterback all day. You made the conscious decision to come back for another year with the success that the team is having. How much fun is it playing for Lafayette right now? It's a lot of fun. This is, this is the best, most fun I've had so far um, being here. I mean, this team's special, and I think we go a long way. So, Congratulations, Billy. Go enjoy it with your team. Thank you. Gary? All right, Megan, thank you very much. As there is the announcement of John Troxell's 100 career wins, remember, stick around, because this is the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. And our player of the game was Billy Schaefer, presented by Coca-Cola. Megan, John, and Phil will wrap this all up. But, Mike, it's been fun. I can't believe that we don't get back up here again until November. Uh, <laughs> we'd love, certainly, to be heading to Princeton for next week's ball game, but that's just uh, not the way it is anymore. Well, we're certainly going to follow the Leopards, obviously, next week down to Princeton. I might even go to that game and then 
you know, after that, uh, you really kind of get into the meat of it with Holy Cross, who lost, it, you know, or, or is, is losing right now, 28 to 14, to Harvard. Yeah. So, uh, and we already seen Georgetown lose, or should be beat the Fordham. So, things are shaping up here, and sometimes you have special seasons. But Lafayette is one game at a time, one play at a time. It's a culture that's being built, and we harp on it over and over again. But this is this could be a special season, and I'm having fun, and I know you are as well. Um, no, the three of us here, with, along with Beat. We're, we're excited, and we just love watching this team. No question about it. They just put good, solid football. And uh, so we'll see you, Mike and I will see you, uh, in November. But make sure you follow the Leopards on ESPN+. Plus. All the rest of their games will be on ESPN+. Plus. So we're going to send it down to Megan, John, and Phil. We thank you so much for spending time with the two of us. That's it from up in the booth. Here's Megan. Thanks so much, Gary. Well, Phil and John, good, solid football. That is what Gary Absolutely. and Mike were just talking about. I mean, simply, what are some of your takeaways from watching Lafayette today? Just what a great offensive and defensive, uh, you know, game it was for, you know, through and through. Um, you know, I think, you know, we've always had some questions, you know, is this team for real? You know, can they compete? You know, is this a trap game? I, I think they've pro proven something here, you know, able to run the ball. I mean, we, we talk and, you know, we joke about, you know, complimentary football. We talk about it all the time. But how much more complimentary can you get than this game, right? you got four rushing touchdowns, four through the air, uh, just being able to, you know, run the ball for over 300 yards, pass the ball for over 200. Uh, and when you can do that, like I said, we talked about, you know, opening up the offensive playbook, and you can just do about anything I haven't played the game other than the Sandlot. Oh, cool. I watched. I watched probably <laughs> way too much football, uh, and I hear phrases. And one of the phrases I hear is "assignment football." Yeah. And I'm looking at this game on the sideline, and if I didn't know what assignment football was, I know what it is now. Uh, on a couple of plays, you could see the execution and the assignments kind of unfold before your eyes. This goes to John Troxell and his staff. These kids are organized. Uh, they're responsible for their job. And when you see the plays unfold the way Phil and I do on the sideline, you see assignment football, and I think that's been the key. Um, offense, defense, even the special teams today. Uh, the one question I had, and Phil, you played, so you may know, but as the first half wore down, Bucknell got into a rhythm. They were throwing the ball every down. Does the defensive line get tired sometimes because they're rushing the passer every time? Yeah, sure, I'm sure that they do. You know, and and as an offensive player, we love that. You know, you come in, you start running, <laughs> you start running routes and running those guys ragged, and it does open it up a little bit. You know, it gives your your quarterback a little bit more time, and uh, you know, you run those run those D backs, you know, long and short, and and you know, open some things up. I think also what we have to look at is a little bit of the bigger picture today, sure. and. John, a little to your point about the culture, you can tell that the players are completely bought in to everything John Troxell has been preaching to them. And I think today especially was just proof is in the pudding. This team is special. Yeah. yeah. You talk about those catchphrases and the language changes. You talk about culture and you talk about assignment football and you talk about complimentary football. I heard a great quote this week. <laughs> Culture is people, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you, in order to get people to follow, you have to have good leadership. And I think this team has exceptional leadership. Uh, you know, I've been on the sideline for a long time now, and uh, when when our backup running back scores a touchdown, uh, that whole room of running back running back uh, running backs is there to greet him. They're just as happy for him as he is to get his first touchdown. You saw John go deep into his roster, and everybody was doing their job, and the result was you know, uh, 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 60 minutes of really good college football. Now let's look ahead a little bit. Lafayette is now on the road for the entire month of October. I'm not going to be able to be back with you guys <laughs> until November. This is craziness. It'll be Princeton. a different outfit, right? <laughs> right. We are going to be a whole lot more bundled up than today. I can promise you that. Princeton's up next. What, I mean, a, a quick glance at Princeton. What sticks out to you about them? I haven't really been able to look at them uh, too much, but I think they had a game last night, which uh, from from what I can tell, they didn't look great. 
Um, you know, so this this opens it up. I know we've always had a tough time with with Princeton. I think we haven't won in the last what 12 outings or so so definitely opens it up you know you always worry about you're going into a non-league game and you worry about injuries you worry about you know coming off of that luckily we have a a, a buy after that yeah. game so i think the buy you're right phil i think the buy comes at a perfect time uh i've been uh, uh, down to princeton enough times to know that for i believe that the princeton game will be the best true gauge of what how good this football can be uh, this football team can be uh, we've seen great football so far they've answered all the questions so far princeton poses a different question princeton harvard phil you know you played against these yeah. guys and we haven't beaten them down there in a long time that would be a true feather in our cap. Mm, true feather indeed. What we do know, though, is Lafayette finishes their homestand with another victory. We cannot wait to be back with you come November. A whole lot more bundled up. But for <laughs> now, from Phil Ang, John Leon, and myself, Megan Caffrey, thanks so much for hanging with us. We'll see you in November.